Okay, let's now see um, the next type in override instructions, um, which is basically um, designated for a safety circuitry. So, um, the in safety circuitry, um, basically there are circuits that are that are put in place in PLC programs and PLC applications so that we can um, provide a stop to um, potentially dangerous or stuck situations okay so basically um, you can do it um, just using by PLC alone but you uh, typically have a uh, that typically have the safety circuitry hardwired outside the controller. Okay, so it's either on the um, uh, supply box outside or um, um, it, or go, it's going to be part of the PLC application itself. Okay, so the typical PLC safety diagram, um, you will have this. Um, there are a few things that we need we can consider uh, doing uh, typically the, the main thing is it must be um, it must have a main disconnect switch okay so it is called in a it is basically installed in a power mains and um, so if we have a main disconnect switch so you can take basically the power out of out of the program straight away um and here uh, you um, typically have a step down isolation transformer so it, it, it is used to isolate the controller from the main power distribution and uh, step the voltage down so um you you, you also um will have a hot wired uh, mcr here okay so you can see that uh, this um MCR uh, is hardwired and vertical rung here. So basically, if um, we uh, take off or uh, break break down the circuit using a stop button, then this one vertical rung is typically uh, taken off. Okay, from the so 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 the control will then be. The control of the PLC will then be uh, disabled. Okay, we also have um, in a case that we use a motor, um, uh, a heavy load motor in the in the application, um, we will have a motor starter um, control. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, uh, a, a motor starter using auxiliary contact as as a, as part of the safety consideration so um basically auxiliary contact it well well typically when you when you see the the motor starter we'll just um, go back to the um original circuits not circuits um just just uh, let me fit in this one first okay so uh, in the original or in 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 week three okay typically we will have uh, this um, diagram all right and um, well when when we see the magnetic motor starter we'll see that you will have um, well, obviously, the the overload contacts that take care of when there is overload happens, okay, and um, it will break down or break break the circuit, break the circuitry, in a sense that this overload contacts will basically break the power, and we also have what we call here the auxiliary contact, okay, so auxiliary what what is it what auxiliary contact uh, do is basically it will do part of control functions that are um, isolated from the power so um, if you take a look again um, um, 
what happens is that if we put if we um, run the motor with a holding circuit using auxiliary contact um, we if if there is if there's something happen to the um, if there is an overloading happen to the um, um, motor okay so um, you will basically um, break off basically break off the the whole circuit but then if the overload stops okay if we if we use the seal in or, or holding circuit using um, M contact instead it will start straight away okay but um, with a starter auxiliary contact the 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 motor will not basically restart instantly okay it's because it's, 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 it's a different contact than than m itself so um if we if we um make sure that this um con auxiliary contact is used as a holding circuit then we can ensure that there is no potentially unsafe start and restarting of the motor so the other ones is uh, wiring the stop push button okay so it must you must always use a normally close uh, button for a stop button so usually when we see this um, red stop button mechanical stop button that um, you know we can buy um, in store electronic store um, it has a spring return kind of um, construction inside so that we can examine for um, an on condition um, when when some when uh, the circuit is connected okay so if it breaks off okay so it breaks off it will basically um, spring up to break the circuit and uh, therefore um, um, the the contact itself will become um, open. Okay, uh, using a normally a normally open contact can also do the same thing if we examine for an off condition, but it is not as much safer. So remember that uh, a normally closed push button, okay, opens a circuit when it is pressed. So this the the typical um, um, setup of the normally close push button is uh, it is um, the contact itself is um, already closed okay um, in a normal position all right in comparison to uh, normally open push button right so normally open push button looks like this um, but a normally closed push bu push button um, has this um, closed condition uh, normally okay so when you press you actually break the contact so typically this is a diagram that we use a stop button um, in a ladder so um, and you can see a stop button there is why it is normally closed so if if actually you use a normally open button and the circuit between the button and the input, input point were to be broken the the logic control could never react to the stop command okay since the input all will, will, will always be false okay so um, it's is an imp important consideration that we make sure that we always use normally open con normally close contact so the last part of the override instructions is um, the N instruction. So N instructions we don't really see in 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 CX programmer because it's already automatically um, written for you by the program. Um, but the N instructions, well, basically the 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 CX programmer will not uh, be able to be executed if you don't have in N instructions in place. So it is as the last instruction any program. Okay, so if there are subroutines, okay, 
remember that uh, when we have subroutines uh, previously uh, it is written at the end of the program so basically n is going to be placed after the last subroutines okay so remember um, after this uh, uh, subroutine application we can see that at the end here we, we, we don't have we, we can't really see from the main program because end is a program um, automatically in the PLC so if we take a look in a CX program and we um, say for example um, look at this subroutine or the program for um, doing a, f a, f a flashing of a pilot line in a subroutine like I, s I explained previously and we can see that basically when we run a new uh, when we create a program and is already uh, written or automatically inside um, the program or created automatically when you want to create a program so if we double click here we can see that um, wait, I'll, I'm just going to can see that basically end is um, already written okay, inside here and um, if we click again on the program and uh, we can see that uh, this all program ending at written and n is um, actually part of the program um, already written okay so um, it is actually at the end of all of the program Okay, so we need to put in mind also that there is no instruction written after n will be executed. So n is basically the last instructions anywhere. Um, but we can also place um, n anywhere in the program to execute all instructions up to that point. So n is kind of, uh, you can um, use that uh, to, de to debug a program. Um, but you can actually do it like from the top up to the certain part and you can also we can you 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 cannot um actually jump uh, a certain um lines on the ladder um so if you want to do that, to do that you have to use jump instead so it is used to execute all instructions okay up to that point and it must be removed to execute the remainder of the program so um, if you don't have the end instructions, obviously it will it will give you a compile error, and um, the error message of no end instruction will appear. Okay, so um, I think uh, that will be the end for the um, for this lecture about override instructions. If you have any question, um, we can discuss it on the Telegram group and um, I will try my best to uh, answer your questions there. Please um, make sure that you um, verify your attendance for the class today by answering a uh, few questions in ULEARN so that I can um, file all, all the um, students that um, see the OS or go through the lecture for today okay, th thank you very much for all uh, your attention um, any confusion or uh, question you can um, ask me in the telegram group um, so thank you everyone